it all started because of my name. People were not happy that my name is Chidima and I am representing South Africa. So that is where it actually really started. And you know, people felt like, well, South Africans felt like I wasn't South African enough because of my name. And um, it was really sad to see. It was a very horrible experience and I wouldn't wish it on anybody because I have lived there for 23 years. And it's, it's heartbreaking to see that I wasn't welcomed and accepted. Um, yeah. <sighs> Well, you're welcome here. But you're welcome we love here. <laughs> and you're the queen. Yes. Um, yes. Yeah. I just didn't want to talk about it. But yeah, yeah it, it, it's heartbreaking. It's really heartbreaking. And um, um, there were certain things that happened behind the scene that actually um, made me withdraw. And it was so heartbreaking to see that I had to withdraw close to the finale. Okay. And um, But a decision had to be made. And... Um, it really hit social media as well. Yeah. And um, there was some statements that came out from Home Affairs with regards to my mom's um, ID as well. And that is still a legal matter, so I'm not going to comment on that. But what I do know is that I was born in South Africa and I am a South African. And I'm still everybody and welcome. This is the Coffee with Jay. I hope you guys are doing great. Now you can tell the hurt and sadness in Chidima's voice. And at this point, I don't even think that this girl is 100% happy about winning this pageant. Maybe it could have been to prove a point that she can still do it even when she's in another country. But there's a lot that's still happening um, surrounding this whole winning. And the fact that the Nigerians themselves are questioning how Chidima Dima won this pageant if she didn't participate um, fully in the competition to pass through the stages and get to where the others were and was just given a pass just like that seems highly unfair to the other contestants and at this point she stands to be rejected by Nigeria themselves as well as South Africa which have already rejected her. On the very same breath, I feel like Chidima girl, you should have stepped down earlier when you saw all this heat was coming your way. None of this was worth it because look at what it's doing to your mental health currently. There was no reason to say that you'll continue fighting this whole thing because you saw the traction that it was getting. You were trending every day on Twitter. People were talking about you left, right and center. And as much as home affairs was being tagged on most of those posts, that is probably when your mother should have told you how her ID was gone and then you would have gracefully bowed out earlier than later anyway now it seems like a very sad situation because people think that Chidima is being unfairly treated and I, I'm really scared to think about what this is going to do to her mental health because you can imagine a um, saying Nigeria, it's unfair people. how this girl got through in the competition and well in South Africa we all know how it's happening here so well I hope that she gets help before she goes any further with this because I feel like this is just the beginning of the end for Chidima than for it to be a happy ending. Anyway, this is the end of this video. Do let me know what you think. Please press your notification bells, like this video, and I'll